Well, let's check anyway. Okay, let's see. No, no, it's gonna be the Roman Empire, but like at, at a later date. Like, uh. Third, fourth century AD, something like that. You know, a bit, uh, you know, a bit later in the Empire. I mean, this probably isn't winnable, but let's uh, have a brand old defense. Well, it could be winnable if I decrease the difficulty. Maybe, just maybe. I'm gonna save the game so let's see what happens. How the siege goes. Now oh, they're literally gonna siege us out. Completely. Is the AI really smart enough to do that? Holy shit. Probably not, because if they don't like... Can't really make enough siege equipment to actually destroy our stuff. Level up. The engineer. Increase the increase increase hit chance to siege engines by 10% during campaign siege. Your troops deal 5% the increased damage with in, with crossbows. Damage to walls increased by 25% during siege. The oh definitely wall breaker. Get all these in. Oh, this is gonna be a big battle. Only issue is I can't really show you the full glory of it. Because... Uh, I still have an RX 580. Okay, I should check. Uh, mod DB Roman mod. Ben Lord. Mod DB. So I can send you the link. Yeah, burning empires. I think it's this. Uh, this is the one, right? Yeah. Then send you the link. I think this is the mod. So 
So set in the uh, set, set in the year 370 375 AD or CE, 100 years before the fall of the Western Roman Empire. Let's see, they, they, do they? Yeah, they do have a Discord link, so you could maybe. Snag yourself a playable version or something. Okay, let's fight this. You can, probably, um, you can probably like search Burning Empires on YouTube, there's probably a, a couple of videos out by now. I know Resonant or Jackie Fish made a video on it for sure. On Move out. I mean, if you're just gonna sit still. Don't mind if I kill you. This is really close quarters, uh, considering the fact we have such huge armies right next to each other. Oh, I see why. We got a number of them, I believe. Although the air is not going to be smart about it. Actually, let's get our cab over on that side. Use the bridge for your archers so they can camp it to kill them. Well, there are mods that increase the battle sizes already. But the problem is it's just uh, can the engine or can your PC handle it? I mean, I, I'm uh, GPU bound at this point. As you can see. Then again, I do have an RX 580. 8GB. Um, but if you have like a 30, 70 or 80, I think I think like having over a thousand troops on the field would be a problem. And if you have any in newer Intel processor, it would, should be fine. Yeah, it is if you have a, if you have a, like a modern graphics card, like I said, but uh, since I have a, well, I, can, I don't even remember when the RX 580s came out. It's pretty fucking old at this point. I 
mean, I, I don't have 60 FPS on this battle, and this is 500 versus 500, I think. In the performance tabs. And I think, like, all the modern G CPUs, like, in the last five years can run this game with no issue. Even above 1,000 troops. If you're not streaming with the CPU as well, like I am, most likely. I don't like seeing my cab getting destroyed by Foxman. Okay, and the air is retreating now. That's nice. Yeah, literally all my cab got wrecked. I'm gonna get wrecked. Okay, move back with the AI. Oh, you were lucky, man. Was it overpriced at that point, too? Or did you buy it to, like, close to MSRP? Okay, it's better to end the battle. And how to resolve it. And continue fighting it. Take all of this. And you can basically run with this. With the 6900, you can run any, anything at max. Especially if you're not playing at 4K. There'll be no fucking issue. Oh, yeah. So you did get it around the MSRP, right? Because the MSRP was like. 900 or 1000, right? But the gamer on Trovo. So it wasn't that much over the MSRP. And plus, you know, we Europeans always get screwed, right? Go to keep. Donate all these. I think, I think I saw one uh, 36, uh, 3600 going for, or oh, never mind, 6900 going for, I think it was 2000 euros, 2500 euros here where I am. In the gold, that's in, in the states of Balkan, you know, because I, I mean, the average wage, monthly wage here is a. Uh, well, they say it's a uh, 500 euros, but it's not. The average wage is around two, 300 to 400 euros. The minimum wage is 260. So buying a thousand euro graphics card is, you know. Mind boggling to most people. I'm not most people, so I'm gonna drop the cash at some point. Belgium. Well, the standards are pretty high there. I mean, compared to the you know ex-Yugoslavian countries, it's never every standard is high. God, we won that battle, but we're bla badly bloodied. They're raiding my shit because, of course, who else are they gonna raid? Now, 
If this was like a total war, we could. Ooh. Their support to beast them out. You know, it's funny, like, Altry solving is so much better at this point because I have, my tax tactics are so high. I almost just want to, like, Altry solve all the battles. <laughs> Which is bad, like, if you ever play Total War, you don't want to do that. Because <laughs> then you're basically not playing half the game. Grab some more troops. But at least we took, well, we only need to take this out so we can clear out this whole area of, well, I mean, from the Northern Empire, that is. Ransom, no, no ransoms. Okay, I guess I can, uh... Not fuss about the villages getting raided too much, that's inevitable. There's too many in there. Hmm. Question is, do I want to go over there and see what's actually besieging that? Maybe we can save it? Maybe just... Okay, we can. Especially if I replenish some troops, and maybe we could get this guy in too. Why the hell not? The more troops, the more better. Maybe we got spear in. Now, it might be better if we auto-resolve this. But I'm not gonna, gonna, because, you know, big army, big battle, why the hell not? You run away, you do what you want. You follow. Any fear in Belgium about about the you know the fact that everyone's uh, printing money like there's no tomorrow, even euros? Oh god, I hate skirmish caps so much. Oh, did you did you really donate more? Come on, man, you're too generous. And have you liked the content? You can also join Gilded and, and you know, ask me anything over there. I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna stream these days because I'm, you know, going to college and all that. But I'm gonna see what the schedule ends up with that. You spread out a bit huge. Actually, get over there on the flank, then charge in on the archers. And this is another thing why I don't understand. Why does the enemy just push through your infantry to get to your archers? I mean, that's the sound plan. Yeah, see ya, Sammy. Thanks for all the donations. We'll catch up on the next stream. Which might be tomorrow, actually. I think I have enough time. Or, I mean, I don't have that much to do tomorrow. 
So it should be on the, about the same time. Why did why? Can I get them not to spread out that much? Come on. Definitely do try out the improved garrison mod, it's gonna help you out so much in the game. Oh yeah, that's it. Run away so my guys can actually hit you. Oh, it looks, uh, looks like they're all retreating. Yep, they are. And guess what the AI was doing? It was sitting in back doing nothing. So much for the allies in the battle. Oh, there's not really a way we can... Uh, we can't really stop them from retreating. None of our troops are fast enough to get them. Oh god damn it. Another thing is, is, it is really interesting, like, when the AI decides to retreat... Wait a minute. When the AI does decide to retreat, they actually, like, you know... Wait a minute. No, no. Are they... They're not retreating, they're just uh, pulling back. Or they just can't make up their minds. You know they're retreating. Uh, they actually fight back when they, you know, give them give them an order to to retreat. Otherwise, when they do break and you know, morale also take uh, step in and they run away, they just uh, run away without you know putting up a fight. It gives me time to check the stream elements, and I have no idea why chatbot ain't. Saying anything in the chat to thank Sammy for another donation. Jesus Christ, Sammy, you're too generous. I should check that. We'll skip those commands. No custom commands. Modules. Oh my god, the chat will let us turn it on. Okay, they should work from now on. I guess it only works once you actually, you know, in the moment. Bold Twitter, no Twitter, spam filters, no profile page. Yeah, that's all fine, dandy.
would have definitely taken less losses if he actually fought the battle in a... Well, without a resolve, not in something. horses and all the food. Let's actually grab all the stuff I want to salt. And we have somewhere to dump all that. How nice. Oh, uh, this, uh, this it does seem that uh, the prizes for the uh, for the experiments do, uh, don't seem to appear to like uh, get the empire stuff in them as much as they used to for some reason. I don't know exactly why, but they do appear less often, which is kind of sad. That's you know that's the easiest way to get yourself out with good gear to just grab it you know win it in tournaments should we do now we want to take this out and we do have the troops for us so let's go over there and hopefully all the enemy lords that were around there actually left Caravan, of course. You want to be the good guy. Always. You know, there's a party, but it's a fairly small one. Let's besiege it. Oh, the problem. Well, that's the problem when, like, is it besieged or is it not besieged? Well, I mean, I guess we're going to find out if this, the army over there with a thousand troops is just going to circle back around to me and kick my ass. King catapults, which may be an issue. Oh god, we got leadership up to 200. Let's see, increase the rate of... Increase the rate of recruiting melee prisoners by 50%. Cavalry troops generate 10% more shared experience. Uh, it's, mm, I will not find any of Your kills have a 100% a hundred higher effect on friendly troops' battle morale. Oh ho ho, make a difference. Okay, who the fuck? He's the surgeon. Okay, increase that. Do need to check this from time to time to see who's actually, you know, leveled up. 30 the brave leveled up. Um.
I mean, none of these are gonna actually help him since I'm not gonna make him a lord again. to make trebuchets, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, game. Really? Is anyone else gonna declare war on me? Okay, let's get out of the war with these. Plane. There's no point in fighting them. Jesus Christ game, come on. How many fronts do I have to, you know, fight on? Alright, I need to... Keep a mind on cohesion. Or keep an eye out on cohesion. Your relation uh, with notables in some of your settlements increased due to high security. Okay. Looks like there's some enemies gathering up to take a shit on me. Let's see, the wall should go down easier this time. I mean, I did have, the, I did get the wall breaker perk, perk and... Eh, kind of. Not... Okay, I don't care if that gets taken, fuck that. Like the enemy is gathering up to fight me down. Come on. I wish you could actually tell him to like focus down a single part of the wall. Yeah. Lead an assault. Maybe I should have undeployed the battling ram. There's no point in having it. I do, however. Yeah, let's not deal with it. Get them to attack anyway. Ooh. Well, that's an interesting breach. Literally in, inside of the city. Or into the inside of the city.
Okay, this settlement is... This city is... Oh, wait, what, what's this? A castle? Yeah, it's a castle. It's pretty interesting with all the, like, layered... Pretty layered. Like, there's a bunch of levels you can fight on. Ahaha, a flank. I definitely need to get the two handed weapons so we can actually, you know, wreck them. Much easier than this. Two handed axe, definitely. Well, a fox, actually. Is a fox a two handed weapon? It should be, I think. I'm not sure where the enemy is at this point. Okay, there's... Can I seriously not... Oh, come on, game. Throw a rock at the guy. Why is there an invisible wall here? Come on, game. I so wish we could actually recruit all of these, but it would take too long to, like, you know, persuade them. Okay, we can actually get some of these. Not bad. Yes. We got over 100k, so we're good on that. Let's give all that to, to the troops. Let's see who else we can recruit. A bunch more of those. Mercy and donate these to the prison as always. Wait, what? I didn't click the button. Okay, let's, uh, I mean, can I trust the AI to, like, save this? I don't really think I can. Can I get these guys to attack me? Okay, do need to... Management, copy to all castles, to all towns. Oh, you're not happy to see me at all. Leveling one handed infantry in your formation gain an additional 10% of the total XP earned by uh, XP earned after the battles. Increase garrison limit in the governed settlements by 30%. Is there a garrison limit? I have no clue. Infantry troops gain two. Plus two XP daily, here are some wagers in the government settlements. Oh, ho, ho. definitely.
I don't think the AI is going to save that. So let's get over there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on. Uh, they took it. Motherfucker. Well, I don't want it anyway, so. Not a big deal. is pretty big. It's going to besiege this too. You do need to tag these. So you can we piece them out. Maybe I can persuade my faction to piece them out. Let's save and try. I'm not sure if 25%. Oh, never mind. Have some more support. Yeah, peace them out since we do need to consolidate this area a little bit because we're gonna get swallowed up by. by Sturgeon. Or the Germanic tribes. Yeah, I literally can't remember what I got in this battle. Kingdom Fife's uh, owner? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I don't really want this. Look at that. Oh, I didn't notice it. They took it back. Let's expand the army anyway. Uh, okay, that's actually that's good. That's bad, uh, good because I, I can I can actually take it once we go to war with them again and maybe and probably grab it for myself. So that's good. It's actually good. For once, something works out in my favor. Although it's gonna be a uh, real. Problem to take it. Wait a minute. Man, wipes. I got three. Um, right. Make uh, this. Do this one. Rech. I can't pronounce that, I'm not gonna try. Which one is which one? This one. Okay. And Cyrus is which I don't know why I don't have a couple of these tagged. That's fine. I just want to like give this area some breathing room so they can actually recruit troops. Get the garrisons up. Because otherwise we're gonna get gobbled up real easy. Let's go up a little bit this way and we so we can grab some troops. Oh look at that. Ready and waiting for me. Now, I'm not gonna take the garrisons out. I'm gonna leave them. Alright, I do need to manage the new towns and whatnot. Yeah, that still has enough... 
cash. Oh, look at that. All elites. Oh, perfect. Castle. That still has enough. Fine. Let's add this to the queue. Prosperity minus zero point thirty five. Looted, yeah, looted villages are the problem. Little, little problem. Actually, let's grab some more calf. set these up correctly. How the hell does this have 200 in garrison already? Uh, where is my sister right? Okay, let's see. Not implemented. Prisoner, prisoner lords are 50% li less likely to des desert from your party. I assume it's supposed to say, like, less likely to run away from a party. I mean, I assume that's what it should say. That's fine. Finish castle. Pop some money in here. Garrisons is pretty big, because, probably because the yeah, there's a bunch of random shit in here. Could be actually useful. I can actually take out the higher tier troops from here. Leave those as is for now. Oh, this is bad. Where? It's not enough that we're stretched along half the map like this. Now we need to stretch out like this. Oh, dear God. War. Well, I guess wars against... Well, it's not going to be easier. Yeah, this ain't going well. Ooh. Ooh. So, 
Might be a good idea to grab. Well, no, it's it's the middle of anime territory. It's probably not gonna be a the most sound strategy ever to have that over there, surrounded by the no Southern Empire. I don't know why, but the Southern Empire had like what? Anustica revolted, and Wallstrom revolted now. It's literally falling apart. At this point. Yeah, go over there. Nothing to leave in there. No, well, let's leave it like that since they don't have enough gar a lot of garrison. We manage castle. We do need to make some money real quick. I'm gonna do some quick battles. I mean, hopefully, run run into enemies that I can kill off easily. Get that building. Enemy parties, that is. Is that the Lord? Probably not. Oh yeah, th this is what I need. I'm just gonna out resolve these battles bits because you know they're easy. Not a big deal to win them. And we're gonna sell off everyone too. Need that extra peel them. Let's have a shitload of grain on me. I could actually besiege that and take it, but uh, probably there's probably gonna be an army on my ass immediately. is going to besiege one of my castle. Well, it's not gonna anymore. What? Come on, game. It's 46. Oh, God damn it. I wish there was like a like zone of control thing like in Total War so you can actually tell when you're gonna drag enemy lords into a battle or when you're gonna drag your own lords into battle because as you've seen there you have 
You literally have no freaking clue. For the most part. All set up. I need to set this up again. that first, then this. Grab him. So yeah, if I besiege that castle over there, I will get wrecked by that army of 400. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> you... Which is... Yeah. Predictable at this point. Because they... Like... I don't know how the AI gets the information for like what to attack. But they always go for your settlements. And again, my settlement, my castle is definitely the one with the least amount of troops in it at this point. Voice people. Yeah, I don't want those mercenaries and they, they don't, you can't get that much money out of them. I want the lords. Which for some reason I can't find any at this point. Okay, look at that. This time, that guy joined in with them. Oh, shit. And this time, my army isn't here to help me. Or that army isn't here to help me. Thankfully, I can bypass them easily enough. And maybe, just maybe, I can get the siege battle. A defensive siege battle at that. Would be a pretty nice ending to the stream if we did get the battle. But they're probably gonna get... No. No, we're not gonna get any help from them. Much for the AI, right? Give me all the good. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I think they hopped into the battle because they thought I was going to help them. I can probably win this. Not quite sure, because they're gonna run into like fools and die. And die needlessly. Okay, you run away. Now, the, if the air was smart, would camp the hill. They got a pretty big hill to camp. Oh, oh, oh this one is gonna be a bit tricky. Why do they have so many? So many cavalrymen. Oh, 
Right, we're gonna get more uh, for every kill I make. Yeah, the air is gonna get wrecked here. You need to make a small line. And this is a definitely a problem because I'm playing on a lower army size, battle size. Because if you had like the full 1000 troops, so all the troops will spawn in at the same time. Look at that blob of troops. Look at this blob of idiots. troops they had I think it's like somewhere around 500 right you can around they started moving in Pretty big fucking shield wall, and those axes are gonna cut straight through the through my guys, which is even worse. Oh, look at that, Jesus Christ. To hit some hit and run tactics with the cab. You never mind, maybe the vanilla infantry is just no match for the modded one. Oh, 
Okay, stop going for my horseman. Fuck off. It looks like that the, there isn't any more of them. Just stack. It's so hard to get defensive battle, defensive siege battles in this. Although those those few we had in Warband with the the heretic armies attacking the the cities was pretty cool though. Even though I lost most of them. Okay, that was pretty good. Only. Only six, only four losses on my side. In my party, that is. Although our allies didn't fare <laughs> that good. Yeah, they got wrecked. Easy peasy. Any enemy lords die? Yeah, one died. Now we need to take all this. We need some. We need the money. Easy peasy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Took some land. We got our next target in this city. Which is good. Wanna take that for myself. So we're gonna like have this area here. Take this too. If I take this too for myself, that's gonna be it. I don't need anything else. This middle bit to be mine. Maybe like grab this later on somehow. Should be fine. So we're in. We're oh another revolt. So it can be like in the middle of the map. Well, kind of in the middle of the map. You know what I mean. So I can get everywhere fast. N -n -n shit. There's a large bag of pilum. Why didn't I know this sooner? I think I checked, right? Or sold those off so I can find them. Do we have a herd? No, we do not. Good. Yeah, definitely need some food, grain, fish. Let's grab the butter. And the meat. Look at that, look at that, 83k, easy peasy. And we're actually making money this time around. Because I have a decent amount of uh, stuff. Or settlements I control at this point. Make those, uh, make those spearmen, I need more cav. Yeah, this is good. 
and I'm gonna make some of these scalarymen so that's gonna be nice and balanced okay so next time probably gonna try and take some of this stuff out maybe or more too I don't want it spread out. I'm not going to help the AI that much out when it comes to this. I'm probably going to like just run in and fight some battles so we can grab some money or make some money. I'll let our stuff build up a little bit. So we can actually, you know, get ready for the war with these guys eventually. That's the idea. Maybe I'll check some policies we can enact too. Maybe persuade some people to get them to work. You know, to, you know, pass them. So, guys. Uh, uh, sub on YouTube, follow on Twitch, show the live if you want. Jump on Gilded. If you want to ask me anything or if you want to find the music I use or... Uh the mods I use for these playthroughs and all that and past playthroughs too so guys thank you for watching have a good morning, good day, good night and see you next time